Hello, I'm Casey Lofman, Editor-in-Chief of Food Engineering Magazine. With me today is PMMI's Jorge Izquierdo, and we're going to be talking about sustainability in food processing. Jorge, sustainability is something that a lot of proce processors have focused on for a long time, but in a lot of cases, they've already picked the low-hanging fruit. They've done the easy stuff. So now, how are they looking at new ways that they can still be sustainable while meeting their production goals? So uh, you're right. In the past, you know, I guess the low-hanging fruit has been kind of coding on the amount of packaging, you know, the thickness of the film, the thickness of the bottle they've used. Now, uh, as, as they look at sustainability in more, in a kind of a, a more kind of the circular economy approach, kind of, they are looking more at uh, waste, on uh, different ways to cut uh, on waste. Uh, when there is waste of uh, a food product, it's that's the worst case scenario. Uh, you've already uh, uh, grow the product. Uh, very likely, you process the product. Very, uh, you distribute the product. There's a significant carbon footprint already behind that product. Uh, when it go to waste, uh, there was all this carbon footprint behind it. Without that, you know, accomplished nothing. So. That's the, the worst scenario, waste. Uh, so in order to avoid that, what uh, the food, food industry is doing more and more is using different technologies uh, to prevent waste. Uh, uh, some of these technologies, they are not necessarily new technologies, but it's just the extent of the use of these technologies. Like when, you, when you're talking about uh, modif modify atmosphere, vacuum packaging, and uh, different technologies that uh, because now there are more, uh, the availability of these technologies uh, is, uh, the cost of the application of these technologies is, is lower. That's why, you know, more and more companies are, are relying on those technologies to, to prevent waste and to address their sustainability uh, concerns. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because as you mentioned, you're all, you've already made that investment in terms of power and energy and manpower and all of that, and you can't get that back if something goes to waste. And with margins being what they are in the food industry, that's something that processors are keeping a really close eye on. So is there anything in particular that is changing from an operational standpoint, maybe as opposed to a material standpoint? Well, uh, uh, in terms of materials, you know, certainly uh, when you, many of the food products go into flexible packaging. Uh, many of the uh, laminations being used on flexible packaging, now they are trying to move from uh, different materials into having one single material in different uh, laminations, you know, to, to offer the same degree of protection to the product, uh, but making it a little easier for the uh, film to be recycled if, if, if uh, they want to do so. Okay, great. Well, it sounds like there are a lot of options out there for processors who want to make sure that they're being sustainable, and we thank you for giving some insight on that. No, thank you. I'm glad to see you and hope to see you at Pack Expo Las Vegas.